Now, your Midday Arklamas News Update. Good afternoon this Friday, January the 20th, 2023. Thanks for tuning in to NBC News Daily. I'm Randy Stone with your Midday Arklamas Update. Farmable continues rebuilding just a month after a tornado struck the area. The mayor of the town says there are projects currently underway, and some of them include a new boys and girls club, a mega ramp for boaters and fishermen, and even a park that will have splash pads, amphitheater, and more. A mega ramp coming to town, which we're in the process of doing now. Uh, we have the boys and girls club, which is coming to town. We do want this to be a great place for people to live, work, and play. We want to be able to offer activities for families um, in the park and the whole area surrounding where we're hoping to put the Boys and Girls Club. Town is looking to complete the Boys and Girls Club late February or in early March. State leaders are mulling over a decision on whether or not legislators should come back for a special session to address the insurance crisis and some are split on that idea. Senate President and Speaker of the House met with Governor Edwards Wednesday to discuss the possibility. The insurance commissioner claims there are eight companies considering coming to Louisiana and the incentive fund needs money to help bring them here. Well, tomorrow, the city of Monroe is unveiling the eighth marker in the Northeast Louisiana Music Trail. It's happening at the Monroe Civic Center. There'll be live music from Josh Madden and Josh Love, along with free pizza and Cokes. The event starts at noon, but the city says you can arrive earlier to enjoy the food. It's a mystery that has been discussed since last May, apparently going to go unsolved, at least for the time being. And that's the source of the leak of the bombshell Supreme Court ruling that overturned the constitutional right to an abortion. Still not known. The high court announced its investigation had failed to pinpoint that person responsible. Last spring, a draft opinion written by Justice Samuel Alito was leaked, indicating the high court was on the verge of overturning its ruling from 1973 in the case of Roe versus Wade. The court called the leak one of the worst betrayals of trust in its history and the grave assault on the judicial process. Investigators interviewed nearly 100 Supreme Court employees, 82 of whom had access to electronic or hard copies of that draft opinion. Well, take a look at this Australian park. Rangers believe they have stumbled upon a record-setting giant toad deep in the rainforest of the country's northern Queensland state named Tozilla. The cane was, uh, was spotted by a park ranger during a routine patrol in Queensland's Conway National Park, and that toad weighed six pounds. The Guinness World Record for the largest toad was recorded in 1991 at 5.8 pounds set by a pet toad <laughs> in Sweden. And now, Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Trey Tonnison. Well, the midweek we started off fairly wet, but as we move through the latter half of the week, we're going to see two days full of sunshine, calm weather that's courtesy of a high pressure system sliding right over the Arkham Mist. I remember when high pressure rolls over the Arkham Mist, that means stability, cloud cover goes down, sunshine goes up, and that's what we're seeing over the latter half of today. Eventually, cloud cover going to build as the day rolls along, acting to cover up some of that sunshine, but that remaining cloud cover should keep the nice lows decently high. As we move into Sunday, most of the rain flowing up from the Gulf on your Saturday will have moved off to the east. We'll see some lingering cloud cover through the morning hours, but that should work its way out of here by the midday. Today's high in the upper 50s, much cooler than it was when you started your work week, but not too bad. Nevertheless, more average for this time of year. And as we move through the day, those clouds are going to build, culminating in a cloudy evening. But the good thing about those clouds is they act as a blanket of source, keeping some of that heat in this evening as we move through this evening. But not only does the cloud cover build, but does the rain chances as well. And then we move into your seven day. Quite the pattern here. We'll see cloud cover building this evening into tomorrow. Your Saturday is going to be wet. Then following your Saturday, you get two days full of sunshine, mostly sunny to partly cloudy skies. And Tuesday, rain chances roll back in with the arrival of another front, followed by two more days of sunshine. Why does it always seem to rain on the weekends? Uh, to keep up with the latest information, you can go to myarchimus.com, Google, and download the app. It is free. Just type in KTVE. That's going to do it for your midday update. NBC News Daily continues now. God bless.